YouTube, um, we are going to do a little mnemonic device to learn both carry classification and we're also going to use that same mnemonic device to learn Kennedy classification. Um, so Kennedy classification is a system for edentulous arches, um, whereas carry classification is, of course, for uh, cavities. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically discuss um, what that classification is within the carries and then I'm going to show you the mnemonic that is going to allow you to remember this without even thinking about it and then we're going to look at the, the Kennedy classification and basically use that same mnemonic device to learn the Kennedy system um, in the same facile manner. Um, so first let me just discuss without the mnemonics what these um, carry classes are and then we'll look at those uh, mnemonics. Um, so class 1 basically is a carry on a uh, pit or fissure of the teeth and that's going to be both anterior and posterior teeth and this um, graph which I um, picked up off of Google um, basically shows that um, both anterior and posterior teeth are class if it's in a pit or fissure of the carry it is classified as a type 1 or a class 1 uh, carry. Then class 2 is the um, interproximal carry of posterior teeth. So notice that this does not include anterior caries. Um, it's merely um, posterior teeth. And then class three is um, a similar carry, but it's for anterior teeth. Um, I'm not sure why they decided to have class two and class three have a distinction, whereas class one sh shares anterior, posterior, um, but that's how it is. Um, class 4 is also an interproximal carry, but that interproximal carry is going to extend across the incisal edge of the tooth. And that's going to be for anterior teeth, as, this, as the figure shows nicely. And then we have class 5, which is a cervical um, carry, basically. Um, so towards the, the apical end of the crown um, sort of carry. And then last we have class 6, which is the tippy tops of the tooth or the um, cusp tip, the, the cusp tips um, of the tooth, and that's a, a posterior tooth carry. Um, so here's the basic mnemonic device. So it's going to be based on r rhyming the numbers, and then, um, so basically, let me just say this. So we have one gun, two shoe, three tree, four door five hand, so five fingers on a hand, and then six is sexy, so it's going to be, just to be politically uh, correct, let's just say pecs, a nice pair of pecs. Um, so let's go back through that carry classification system looking at this little picture I've drawn, and I would say draw your own um, without looking back and seeing if we can figure out what these are. Um, so one gun, so I put the gun in this um, fissure of this tooth, that's going to remind us that one is in pits and fissures of teeth, and of course you can picture just um, sort of where would uh, someone try to hide a gun, they might hide it in the pit or fissure of the teeth. Two shoe, and so I put a shoe wedged between these posterior teeth, um, so that represents the interproximal carry um, being the class 2 carry and 3 tree. I put a tree growing between the anterior teeth um, and you can also remember 3 tree as the, um, the anterior interproximal carry um, because people get a sort of broccoli often stuck in these teeth and of course that's embarrassing then you tell them and then either they're really mad at you because you told them or they're happy depending on what your relationship is. Um, then we got four doors, so a door um, has um, that, that corner edge that reminds you that the carry extends from both the incisal edge to the interproximal edge. And then we have five hand and a hand um, going around the cervical area to remind us of the cervical carries of type uh, class five. And then we have a pair of pecs sitting on these cusps to remind that we have class 6 is sexy, sexy pecs, class 6 ca um, carries are going to be cuspal carries. 
All right, now let's look at the Kennedy classification as I promised. And uh, since we've already learned these, basically we don't need to learn any more mnemonics. So one gun, two shoe, and so on. It's gonna apply the same to Kennedy classification. Um, so like I said, Kennedy classification is for dentulous arches. Um, and um, maybe not the most correct mnemonic to use, but I remember Kennedy classification is for dentulous arches because we can imagine a sniper having shot these teeth out. Um, so basically, um, let's get right into it and look at a class one classification it is basically a uh, bilater bilateral posterior um, edentulous arch. So both sides missing. Notice there's no um, single teeth um, remaining in the posterior. It's got to be uniformly edentulous up to some anterior position. Otherwise, it would be a class three if you see jumping forward. Um, class two is um, a unilateral edentulous posterior um, position. Class three is similar to class two, but there is still a, t a tooth, so there's basically a gap in the posterior um, portion of the arch. In Kennedy class four is there's an edentulous position in the anterior portion of the arch. So um, similar mnemonics, one gun, so think of a um, old maybe British or French army marching on each other representing two sides of the arch and they're shooting at each other and there's attrition on both sides and this is an inane way to battle and so both sides are going to be completely shot down um, at the end of the battle um, similar to this bilateral edentulous posterior so just imagine this is one flank and this is the other of two different armies marching on each other and shooting um, across the way and taking out the um, the opposing soldiers. Um, class 2 shoe, so remember class 2 cavities, I'm, I'm sure you remember right at the top of your head, is a, a posterior interproximal, um, like a shoe stuck between those teeth. Um, so in this case we have um, the, the feet representing the arches and um, we have one shoe because it's two shoe. It's um, number two shoe, so there's not two shoes, there's one shoe. And basically, um, this reminds us that there's one portion of the posterior arch missing. Three trees, so I have a tree stuck between rocks, and that reminds us there's a space between that posterior position. Um, this could be easy to confuse with um, the four door um, Kennedy, so Kennedy class four, um, except if you remember them together, then you shouldn't confuse them um, because four door, um, this is going to be the front door, um, similar to the fact that um, cla Kennedy class four is a dentulous arch in the anterior teeth, and so um, don't confuse class three um, with class four um, by remembering that it's four door front door um, so yeah basically those are the mnemonics um, I would say maybe go back without watching the video again to see if you can remember both Kerry classification and Kennedy classification maybe Google your own images and see if you can uh, put this back together um, it should be fairly easy I'd say a lot easier than trying to study and arbitrarily remember um, okay class 3 carries what is that oh man I don't know where it's hard to associate numbers, but with this system you can um, turn what is an arbitrary um, association to what seems like a concrete and um, obvious sort of situation. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers, guys, and good luck studying.